Inside this box here, I have the new electric skateboard from Sleek Revolution, it's the Flex E. I'm going to do the unboxing and we are going to talk a little bit more about this product, so if you want to know everything, stay tuned after the intro! Hi everyone, welcome to MedPack where we unpack your next product and first of all I'd like to thank you Sleek Revolution to send me this electric skateboard to review on this channel for a long time that I wanted to bring an electric skateboard for this channel but it was not an easy task but finally I have here the first one and I hope to do much more reviews about this type of vehicles that you have now on the market. This electric skateboard have a top speed of 22 miles per hour or 35 kilometers per hour, a range of 12 miles or 19 kilometers and the weight of it is 8.5. It's not the lightest electric skateboard that you'll find on the market but the specs they are quite interesting so let's open the box let's put this bad boy in the side and we'll talk about it in a minute so now that i have a little bit more space on the room let's see what it comes also inside the box and one of them is this package here so when you open it comes with some gums so thank you very much click revolution to also give me this for me so on this piece of paper i have some information saying that we have to drive carefully and everything so obviously that is important come and affiliate so definitely that will happen so this and also here it seems that is an event that will happen it comes obviously a manual that i'll check in a minute some cards from slick revolution it comes also with a usb i prefer usb-c but it is okay what it comes more i will leave that in a minute you have here the charging brick that is quite small for what it is so that is good you have this keychain from Sleek Revolution so thank you very much obviously you have your power cable to charge your electric skateboard this one will leave in a minute because it's quite quite interesting I don't think that anybody has seen it and obviously you have your skate tool this one i'm almost sure that is the new control from sleek revolution many persons was complaining about it so they made a new control because the other one was giving some problems and it was quite quite cheap so i was quite excited to know that they was going to send me this one and here we have so much much better than the first version obviously you have a small manual here that is not really important for the minute the feeling is quite good the wheel is really really good the response is quite good it's like the the boosted board versions and you have a screen you have this to put around your wrist so in that way it will never jump from your hand but i have to tell you guys that the feeling is quite quite good so i'm quite excited to try this one so thank you very much to send me this version already with the new control that is quite quite interesting to see Another thing that is quite interesting in this company is this wheel. So many persons are talking like Jay Boston, he talks about these wheels and he try on this Evolve skateboard. So it's the rug stuff wheels and these ones have a diameter of 110 millimeters and it's polyurethane and it's a 85A wheels and like you can see they look amazing and they are massive really 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 big so when you are using in a normal street you'll be more in contact just with the center but if you go to all terrain obviously all the rest will give you a very very good grip so they are quite interesting and they are quite quite stuff but you have a bit of flex on this material and you have here also some protections for extra protections for your belts it comes also with tool and some screws and here we have the start of the show the sleek revolution flex e the deck this one is made with bamboo on the top you can find obviously your grip tape that is quite good and the deck is concave so it's deeper on the center and higher on the sides when you turn the skateboard upside down you can definitely see a redesign on the batteries so now they put this space between the batteries so it's to make this deck much more flexible inside you're going to find some samsung batteries lithium batteries of 22.2 volts dc that can deliver to your motors 10 amps of power next to the battery obviously you'll find your switch to turn on and turn off your electric skateboard 
skateboard, you have a power port to recharge your electric skateboard, you have a USB to recharge your phone, the control, or if you want to put some LEDs around this electric skateboard, maybe you can connect there. And also you have some LED here to tell you the amount of batteries that you have inside this electric skateboard. And you have a switch that after I'll test for what it is, you can find a heat sink. And I have to tell you guys that is in metal all around. It seems plastic, but here, where is the heat sink? Where is the electronic compartment? is in metal definitely and something that I really like is the insulation that they've made on the batteries on the electronic parts and even on the cables that goes to the motors that we'll talk in a minute everything is really really well insulated on the back obviously you will find your motors and is a dual motor of 1200 watts with some belts of 15 millimeters that will give you a good torque and a good traction to your wheels the trucks in both sides and the motor mount they are in metal and they seems really really strong they are not going to move like the old versions the only thing that I don't like so much is the covers of the belts is the only part that you'll find in plastic and I think that you'll have to replace more often these parts here but besides that the quality I don't have nothing to point at least in my first impression of this product something that I also want to show you guys is the difference of size side by side between the ones that are installed on the electric skateboard and the other ones so you can see a massive difference but let's talk a little bit more about this control and I have to tell you guys that is much much better than the old version so the material is plastic but in your hand the feeling it feels like metal and I really like it's not cold but it's that sensation on the top you have the reverse button so I really like where they decided to put it because it's not on your way so you will never going to press accidentally I like the wheel the feeling is good so you have a good good reaction and on the bottom you have the um, security function so if you are not pressing there nothing happened if you press you can do this and it's quite quite cool on the bottom here on the sides you'll find obviously your screen where you can see the speed that you are going in the amount of battery that you have on your control and on your board you have the switch on and off and obviously through this uh, control you can go inside the menus where you have your calibration where you have your pairing mode and where you can change the speed functions and the braking functions so you have three modes for speed and three modes for braking so that is cool and on the bottom you have the USB is the only thing that I have to complain because in these days I would prefer to have seen here a USB-C but besides that I think it's cool and obviously here on the top you can find the logo of the company and on the back giving you some advice that obviously you can die or you can hurt yourself when you are using this control and obviously this board that is quite quite amazing another thing that you have if you tap this control to your phone and if your phone obviously have NFC it will go directly to the website of Sleek Revolution so that is another feature that you'll find on this device before we finish the video I want to show you the sound of these motors when it's in low speed and the maximum velocity is 16 km per hour when we change to the medium speed it jumps for 25 km per hour and when you put in top speed It goes until 34 kilometers per hour. Question of the day, what do you think about this new electric skateboard from Sleek Revolution? Do you think that they have improved compared to the old version? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't have subscribed until now. Share this video with your family and friends. Comment below, smash the thumbs up. And like I said in all my videos, you already know the answer. I see you in the next one.